Now, a witness providing oral testimony before the Section 194 inquiry into the fitness of the public protector to hold office has brought who has been rather brought to tears. Eight-year-old Peter Siabe recalled events when engaging the Public Protector's Office employee, Spelo Samuel, and a former Public Protector Advocate Tulima Donser. Museum Africa's our team, Tongana, with a report. First, let's recap the oral testimony of the first witness before the Section 194 Committee this year, Zambia's Public Protector, Caroline Zulu Sokoni. And in the course of you giving evidence, certain examples were put to you. And let me give you one example. I will, let me put something to you. The, the oversight of a public protector in South Africa is the legislature, the parliament. And, and, and you are in agreement that that is best practice. Yes, it is best practice. But as I said, in its implementation, we should always look at how we are implementing but otherwise, that is the best practice. But you haven't been privy to all the evidence before this inquiry that you can pass an opinion on, on, on the process itself. Or, or do you feel confident enough to pass an opinion on the process? Um, I haven't passed an opinion on the process um, simply because I believe that it's, it's ongoing. We have not yet come to the end of it. It would be precipitous for me to actually say this is wrong and that this is right. The second witness providing oral testimony is a member of the public who was a complainant who approached the office of the public protector some few years ago. Eight-year-old Peter Siabi, who's recalling some of his engagements with Sipelo Samuel, who was also a witness that also provided testimony before the committee. So every step of it, I promised my mother that I would never back down. I would never let this slide. I, told, I, I promised her that I will follow it up and find out what happened to my mother's money. That's what I promised her. That's the reason I am pursuing with this matter. CAB also expressed his dissatisfaction about the former public protector advocate, Tulima Donsela, who's also on the witness list that is said to appear before the committee. Yeah. reality you can ask me uh, uh, from the first uh, uh, conversation, Madonzela never came back to him. The thing is, he went home very sad and humiliated. And then Madonzela, the way he read about her, uh, when she met, when he met her, it was a different story. Madonzela showed her her true colors. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Atim Tongana in Parliament.